Hello everybody and welcome back to another Sunday Live activation and thank you so much. I already see Kat and Tony. Thank you guys so much for the super stickers. I really appreciate it. Today we are doing a <laughs> Lumerian activation. Give me a thumbs up if you guys can hear me okay. I've got some music in the background. Um, yeah, very excited for today. And if you are new to my channel, we do these activations every Sunday. Today we are focusing on remembering Lumeria. So Lumeria, let me take this, my name off the bottom. You guys know who I am. Okay. Thank you, Katie, so much for the super sticker. <laughs> so Lumeria is a very important highly evolved ancient civilization that was around whenever Atlantis was around and we did Atlantis last week so thumbs up okay we're good perfect angelic Kayla hello yeah so many of us have ties with ancient Lumeria it was a very highly evolved advanced advanced civilization and many star seeds. Whenever I do readings, sometimes Atlantis comes up, sometimes Lumeria comes up. So you may have been a Lumerian. What's up, Robert? And back in ancient Lumeria, we were very gifted, known as master healers. And life was just very, very different. They were living in higher dimensions and basically destruction, you know, uh, Atlantis, there, there ended up being a war and it ended up wiping them out. And which we talked about last week as well for the Atlantis one. But so millions and millions of Lumerians and Atlanteans ended up perishing or they ended up fleeing. I had a reading with somebody this past week where I saw Lumeria, the waves, and then I saw a spaceship. So I believe that some were actually possibly rescued. But then a lot of them fled to inner earth. And, and inner earth, I just found this out earlier. So I've never lived, I was not a Lumerian, I was an Atlantean. And I've been visited by the Atlantean version of me. But I found out that I do have a connection with Lemuria because of my inner earth connection. So if you guys remember from the inner earth activation we did a few weeks ago, there was a woman who stepped forward the night before and a group of inner earth people, about 20 plus inner earth people appeared and helped us with that activation. And the woman that I saw, she was just beautiful, had really light long hair and and uh, thank you, Lori Hall, for the super sticker. And John DiMartino, thank you guys so much. The woman Kay, who stepped forward, I just found this out, but she's actually my star family. She's some of my star family, and she's going to be here with us today. So that is my connection with the Lumerians, because a lot of the Lumerians fled to inner earth, like Mount Shasta, and apparently the civilization Telos, which is under Mount Shasta, was born. And so I am related as in a descendant of these Lumerians who started living in inner earth. Um, and somebody asked Mountain Muse, how do you know which star seed group you are from? Well, what I'm finding is we actually have a lot. There may be a couple primary ones, um, but if you, you, a good way to know is if you kind of look through my activations, we've done a lot of different star families and worked with different ETs and see which one grabs out to you and see whatever you are called to the most. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Kay's part of the family, which is super exciting. And she's going to be here with us today. And happy Labor Day weekend, guys. I totally forgot it was Labor Day. I'm wearing white in honor of the Atlanteans, the Lemurians, and the inner earth beings because I always see them in white. So let's see. Lemuria, just a little bit of background information, and then we'll go into 
so we'll go into the activation here in a minute but so if you've heard of the continent mu like mu that's where lumeria was and so it's sunk and apparently hawaii is a little bit is like the remnants thank you joan tomlin thank you so much for the super sticker so hawaii is like very special very sacred and apparently that's kind of like the last bit of Lumeria that's left. Which makes sense because they're very spiritual there. Um, very in tune. Hi guys, Alien Girls here. So many of you do have connections with Lumeria. And we have many gifts from this time. Higher levels of consciousness from this time. That we can remember and activate through activations like this. And... There's also something called the Lumerian Teaching Wheel. If any of you guys watching the replay or in the comments know, have you heard of the Lumerian Teaching Wheel? Or if you have any really good resources on Lumeria, please let us know because I would love to look into it more. Um, like I said, I'm more Atlantean, so I've dug into Atlantis more and now I'm digging more into Lumeria. But Lumeria was a very feminine, very feminine. They were right-brained and We've lost that since the destruction. We've lost that. Earth basically went through a big reset. So the right brain makes you better at communicating. It makes you, it's your creative side and the feminine side. So right now, Earth's in some trouble because we're very masculine, very, you want the logic, the cold hard facts, and you're not in tune with the actual experience in the feminine side so we lost that but the Lumerians have it and we're going to work on activating reactivating that within ourselves so that we can become more balanced thank you gypsy mama if you guys watched the interview the star seed chats on Wednesday if you haven't please do it's really good it's with uh, Anita and <laughs> oh, Isis blessings. Uh, we spoke about Anita shared an experience where the Andromedans came and they were working on her brain, helping to connect the two sides so that she was able to go to a higher place and actually meet with one of the architects of our universe. So that's a key thing. Right before she had that experience, the Andromedans were working on her to help connect these two sides of the brain. So that's what we got to do. <laughs> yeah, how many of you guys are Lumerian? Let me know. Or feel like you may be. And also, if you saw in the Telegram group, there's a big, like, there's a lot of solar activity right now. It may create like a huge uh, solar flare, solar flash, which won't be like a bad thing, but it's messing with the, the energy and the Earth's magnetic pull. Thank you, Amanda Forbes, for the super chat and donation. So if you guys are feeling pretty sleepy lately or feeling a lot of energy, the sun is going pretty nuts right now. Aw, uh, Botsy, you told me Friday that I had a Lumerian connection. Yes. Yes. Victor's part Lumerian. Uh, Mish says, keep getting sharp pains on either side of my head at different times. It doesn't last long. That's very interesting because I've been feeling the same. Kind of just like a sudden, like, pain. And I, it's because our bodies are going through a lot. Something else that I've been experiencing the past week or so was, is, well, if you guys watched my video on meeting the Pleiadians face to face, they've been working on my third eye heavily the past week plus, um, and allowing me to see into higher dimensions, like not visually like I us usually receive with my eyes closed, but with my eyes open. And I'm mentioning this because it's like if you kind of stare off into like space and kind of relax, 
See if you can begin seeing the energy. It almost looks kind of like staticky. So that's been happening more. And I've been seeing kind of like white dots, like little white flashes. So let me know. I know some people in the comments to uh, the Pleiadian, meeting the Pleiadians video mentioned seeing that. So that could also be another kind of symptom. Gypsy Mama has Lumerian crystals. I have one as well. So Lumerian crystals, if you feel called to Lumeria, definitely get a Lumerian crystal. They say there's like little lines in it and they say that these crystals hold ancient wisdom. So if you meditate with them, it can help you activate and unleash, you know, wisdom from within. Robert says he feels Lumerian as well as Atlantean. I do think that there some people do have connections with both, definitely. Victor's woken up with more energy. Awesome. Oh, Sean Hyland, thank you so much <laughs> for the super sticker. And Logan Harrison, thank you. Can I show these on here? I can. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, Katie says she's joining Lumerian Sisterhood Global. See, that's what I, that's, I was digging into that a little bit. So thank you for sharing that. Lots of great resources. I'll have to look into that more. And we are saying back pain too. Mm. Um, I am a star seed says, what's your recommendation for connecting if we are sad and in a bad mental place? That happened to me a lot as I was activating, um, and even in the beginning of meeting my star family, I feel like it's a, it's a, like a purging. You are releasing negative or lower vibrational energies and you're doing a lot of healing. So you're kind of having to feel that pain. What I would do is just kind of sit with it, journal, spend time in nature. I would go stargazing like every single night whenever I was going through that. Meditation, rest, and you can do cleansing and clearing as well. Everybody's seeing energy, see sparkles sometimes. Awesome. Area 41 TV, thank you so much for the donation. Oh. So there's something called the Lumerian teaching wheel. And it's actually what the Pleiadians taught. And I'm learning more about it. I was trying to find resources on it. But at the center is love. And that's what they used to teach people. So I definitely want to look into that more. I just thought that was something really cool. I feel like as we are activating and digging up more of this knowledge, like the Lumerian teaching wheel will become a thing again. And we can actually use it to teach others, which I just think is beautiful. And everybody's saying, okay, you have powerful uh, Lumerian crystals. Awesome. Something else I wanted to mention is about a week ago, I had a dream where I kept accidentally levitating. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, that's kind of like random. And then I did a reading on somebody. <laughs> had to fix my hair. I did a reading on somebody like a couple days later and I received a vision of them levitating a cup and got that they had the ability to levitate objects and then somebody sent me an email talking about levitation so I believe that is another gift that is activating within us being able to levitate but not just a gift it's we are remembering that we can do these things so it's been like like with the telekinesis we've been told our whole lives that it's not possible so we really have to break down our beliefs and um yeah, so if you've had a dream about levitating or have any more information on that, I'd love to hear in the comments. Thank you, Melanie, for the super sticker. And Victor, I know you had dreams of of, uh, of moving objects with your mind. And I, whenever I was growing up in like elementary school and middle school, I would have dreams where I'd be like walking in a line with the class through the halls. And then like suddenly I would kind of start flying but I kept being dragged down to where I'd like barely be off the ground and I had to kept trying. And now I know that I had those dreams all the time. And I was like, that's weird. 
random. And now I know that it wasn't random. It was information was coming through on things that we used to be able to do. Aw, well, thank you, Victoria. Oh, yeah, or if you'd like to support this channel, you can also buy Starseed merch. Let me share a picture real fast before we start. Melanie bought some. So if you've bought Starseed merch, please send me a photo. Melanie Jarvis. She bought... Uh, one of the t-shirts, mint green. It's got some sacred geometry behind it. So shout out to Melanie. And you can get that from lilynovaspaceart.com. And there's also a, a donate button or buy me a coffee button in the link in the description. So exciting times. And I guess that may be like about it. I kind of went through it pretty quickly. Um, also, there is an impersonator on Instagram. So if you have Instagram and you receive like a follow and a message from an account, a second account, that is not me. They're, it's really like popular right now, these scammers. It's, it's really sad. But uh, so they may message you trying to offer you a reading or a birth chart reading or something like that. It's not me. Please report and block them. Tony loves her two shirts. You look, yours looks so cute. Uh -huh. Logan says, I've had a surge of positive energy lately. Other positive people are drawn to me, but negative people have been getting annoyed. That's super funny. Yeah, thank you, Jay. Just mentioned that. And to know my true Instagram account, thank you, Victor. He shared the link. So they need to be reported. They blocked me, so I can't see them. But to know my true Instagram account, if you go to my link tree link in the bottom of the description of this video, there's a link to my actual Instagram. Thank you guys. Oh my gosh, I Miss Seed has three of the shirts. That's awesome. And last but not least if you guys are interested in cbd i partnered with hopewell farms to get you guys 10 percent off uh, it helps a lot with meditation health in general i started taking it a few months back so if you'd like 10 percent off you can do so in the link in the description with code lily10 for cbd oil thanks guys all right, are you guys about ready? I think it might be about time to start. Oh yeah, and this Wednesday, the Starseed Chats will be live, so you'll be able to interact with me and Tony Rodriguez, who is known in the SSP or Secret Space program. He's a whistleblower. A little bit different than our normal topic, but I also wanna go into, he has like a group where he does uh, remote viewing and stuff like that. So we'll talk a little bit about secret space programs, um, remote viewing, and that will be live Wednesday at 8 p.m. Central Time. If you know Tony and would like to ask him some questions, you can also drop them in the comments of this video. I'll check and see if there are any uh, questions for him, but that will be live on Wednesday. but I have to have to use both hands. It does work easier with both hands. I got it to move a little bit without my hands, but that's also powerful. Learning how to use the energy, uh, you know, just that energy around your body. All right, guys, I think it is about time. Let's go ahead and start. Oh, <laughs> and I have the heart bowl today. So this one will open the heart chakra. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Thank you guys so much for being here on this holiday weekend. Thank you, Marcia, for the super sticker. Lisa, I'm not sure if Tony's the one who traveled to Jupiter, but we should all ask him. 
Ron's also in that group. Awesome. Yeah, definitely. Tony's really cool. I met him at the conference. Really nice guy. So definitely uh, make it if you can. Okay, so today we have the heart chakra bowl. I haven't used this bowl in a while, but these are very powerful crystal alchemy bowls. All right, if anybody would like to go ahead and get comfortable, we are about to start the activation. Okay, if you'd like to take a few deep breaths in. We are setting the intention to connect with the sacred energy of Lumeria, to connect with our Lumerian heritage, Help us remember the wisdom and gifts from Lumeria. And activate more of our divine feminine, the right side of our brain. As you breathe in, breathe light into your body. With every breath, more light spreading throughout your body. To your fingertips, light, down your torso, down your thighs, light, down your calves and to the tips of your toes, light, raising your vibration. Now with the sacred tone of this heart chakra bowl. Focus on your heart center for a moment. Feel your heart growing, filling with light, filling with love. Helping to heal and open your heart center as it is the key to ascension. Allowing your heart to fill with love. Tuning and balancing your heart. And now we call upon the angels, our angelic guides of the highest love and light the inner earth beings, inner earth guides of the highest love and light to be here with us. Any Lumerian guides or star family to help teach us and guide us 
through this Lemurian activation. And feel the energy shift as the room fills with loving beings. And we are surrounded by light and love. Now envision a portal of light beginning to open right in front of you. You can see into this portal a beautiful paradise awaits on the other side. Taking the hand of our guides and stepping through this portal into a sacred Lumerian paradise You may see water, a beach, flowers, green, perfect air, perfect weather, maybe a light breeze that brushes through your hair. Breathing in the magic of this beautiful place. Now you look up at this tall mountain-like cliff and see a beautiful crystal temple made of light. This is a Lumerian healing temple. We are teleported into this crystal temple of light and greeted by Lumerian healers and guides, teachers, surrounded by our team and spirit, meeting with these ancient Lumerian wise ones. We take a seat in the center next to these big Lumerian crystals. And these Lumerian beings, our guides, the angels, now send us this bright light, this energy that washes over our body through our aura through our mental and emotional bodies around our physical body And you see sacred geometry in this light 
all throughout your body and all around your body. Opening up to receive a quantum healing. Opening your heart to receive quantum healing. With these beings, these priestesses, all around us, guiding the way. First, this energy, this bright, loving light, begins to wash away any traumas caused by the fall of Lumeria, any sadness, grief, now being washed away from our physical body, from within our cells, from our energy bodies. Washing away any feelings of abandonment, loss. It is now time for them to go back to the light. Be cleansed, cleared, healed, and forgiven. Allowing the ancient ones, our guides, the Lemurians, to work on our body for a moment. Waves of light, waves of gentle, loving energy. that these traumas are healed and forgiven, replaced with love. The Lumerians would like to assist us and our guides on activating more of the divine feminine, more of the right side of our brain for better communication expression, creativity, love. They send a magical energy to your brain. This rainbow light enters into your head, cleansing, washing over your brain. Helping your brain to make new connections. Helping to rewire you for your ultimate optimal path using more of the right side of your brain activating more of the divine feminine making new neural networks you see the Lumerians with their hands around you, sending this energy, guiding this energy. Deep into your mind, deep into your being. Now see the right side of your brain begin lighting up. Becoming more activated. Becoming more balanced. Balanced with the left side of your brain. And 
now this light goes deeper into our being, deep into our heart, activating the Divine Feminine. lighting up our body again feeling it in your heart as the divine feminine is awakened and at this point you feel your whole energy your whole being shift You become more balanced, more whole. Stepping more into your power. Having access and coherence with your creative right brain. Your whole being lights up with a golden light. And if the Lumerians would like to gift you any of your memories back from this time that will help you on your journey, They do so now, passing this light to you, passing this love to you. Reawakening more of your gifts. Feeling your heart just grow. Feeling more whole, more balanced, more creative, more free. Filling with the wisdom of Lumeria. You stand up. Stepping out of this temple, a brand new person. Looking back at the crystal temple, the Lumerians, your guides, the angels, all crowded around you, applauding you, sending you love. We thank all of them. and ground these new changes, these upgrades into our entire being. We wave goodbye and make our way back to the portal back home. saying one last goodbye to this beautiful paradise, but bringing part of it with you in order to create a new paradise here on earth as it is our duty, as it is our promise. Stepping back through this portal to earth, anchoring this light, this love, into your physical body, into your being.
feeling happy, whole, balanced, connected more strongly with your heart center, living through your heart. You may now begin coming back you may want to wiggle your toes, your fingers. Grounding this energy deep into the earth, deep into Gaia. So that we may create this beautiful paradise here again. You may want to, to help you ground, visualize roots going deep into the earth. And then let me know how you feel. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to come back. <laughs> very soothing ah Samantha says something happened to her throat interesting I've been feeling really called to the throat lately haha <laughs> Sass. very powerful but very very gentle beautiful thank you as always yeah, I wanted to keep it kind of gentle because sometimes we get a little crazy. But also the Lemurian energy is very like kind of like free, flowy, light, loving. It's that, that feminine energy. I'm excited to uh, learn more about Lumeria. And after this activation, you may begin having memories that come up or downloads that come up. Uh... So keep an eye out for that. Usually after these activations, I will receive communication from these beings or something will happen. <laughs> Stacy's head is super heavy. Oh, Kate, my husband and I both got tingling goosebumps in our brain. I really, really liked the working on the brain because that is something that will help us so much if we can be balanced between these two, you know, hemispheres. I'm a starseed, had some great visualiz visualizations on this one. Beautiful, Bodsey feels great. Catherine didn't want to come back. Aw, Victoria. Yeah, and it may, there could be a lot of, you know, a lot of stuff there that needs to come up and be, you know, be felt. So, and also just, you know, feeling the love from that place. Uh, Leah says, yes, this will be effective if you do the replay. The, the frequencies are still being channeled through it, so it works. It works. Wow, amazing. Kayla, thank you. Tipsy, hard to leave. Tears of gratitude. I know, I almost started crying near the end there. I really did. Mary says her right ear is popping. Interesting. Yes, please rewatch. Mm. Lakeside, Laura. Seeing a bright heart turn into angel wings. Oh my goodness. I've been seeing the angels around a lot lately. So we had to include them. Oh, amazing. At the very end till now, my throat chakra is blocked. Feels like a bubble in my throat. Coughing big time. It's coming out. <laughs> it's coming out. Catherine had clicking on the right side of your head two t different times. Wow. Amazing. Logan, wow, my entire body radiated with vibration. Beautiful. 
Aww. People with beautiful blue and gold robes. Awesome. Aw, crystal necklace and a hand headband. I love that. Wow. Yeah, this is going to be a big one. Uh, and keep an eye out for things that may, you know, more things may come up as you go throughout the week. Um, with doing the work on your brain, you may, you know, make sure that you rest and drink plenty of water. Oh, and next week. So usually, you know, I would let, we would vote on it, but let me know what you guys think about this. So somebody had commented on one of the other videos about the Venusians, Venus, and I've recently been seeing signs from the Venusians. So I was thinking next weekend we'll do Venus, connect with the Venusians. And if you don't know about Valiant Thor, definitely look him up. I'll be talking about him, but he is actually a Venusian, a being from Venus who came to Earth back in, I don't know if it was the 40s, 50s, or 60s, a long time ago. He looked very human, but he came on Earth to do like a mission and there's like books about him. There's even like a photo of him. So it's a really interesting story and he's from Venus. Yes, I'm excited about Venus, yes. Ah, felt connected to the beings and saw beings in indigo robes. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Valiant Thor is cool. Throat chakra feels clear. Awesome. Yeah, I'm excited for the uh, Venusians. Um, yeah, I'm excited for that. There's also a book on that's supposedly from Valiant Thor that, and I'll go into it more, but it's about making peaceful contact and it shares more about the Venusians. Apparently they're very high vibrational, very loving beings. So um, yeah, I'm excited about that. Aw, is it in the past from Venusian? Think it was my galactic family took me there. Aw, amazing. Um, are these races or tribes? Kind of, yes. So, they're from different places. Like, Venusians, they are from Venus. And, like, uh, Lyrans. But there's all different types within. Just like there's different types of races on Earth. But we are Earthlings. So, that's we're going through and connecting with different beings from different uh, places. Ooh, Robert. Ah, the Blue Avians are said to originate from Venus. Interesting. I did not know that. I have seen them before, though. That's good to know. Okay. Do not see anything yet, but feel the energy beyond words. Yes, just keep practicing. Okay. All right, guys. It was so much fun. I really enjoyed this. And um, don't forget that Wednesday is Starseed Chats. Um, and again, if you would like to donate, there's a link in the description, or if you would like to check out Starseed merch, you can find it at lilynovaspaceart.com. And so next week we will do Venus. I'm also moving soon in two weeks, guys, uh, which I'm really excited for because I'm going to make like a studio. Um... Yeah, so I'm just super excited about that. This this place is going to be all star seated out. Um, and I guess that's about it. Oh, and also if you want to join the Telegram group, there's a link to the Telegram group. It's a chat. Um, well, at, there's a chat pinned at the top. So if you join the Telegram group and you want to be involved in the chat where you guys can all talk back and forth, it's pinned at the top. Okay. All right. You guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. I love you all.